thanks for dropping by the Average Guys Fishing Channel. Just wanted to put a short video up on here. I haven't done any for a while, but I am going to be getting back into fishing here soon. Been doing a lot of working. So, uh, and now that the weather's getting nicer, I can get out a little bit more as well. So, just wanted to share a little tip that I have uh, pretty good success with. It's real easy and inexpensive. You can actually use your, um, you know, your current tackle and bait with it. And it's something that, um, you know, it's, it's no secret, but it's maybe something that maybe not everybody's thought of. So, what I like to do is go to a craft store like Michael's or Joanne's Fabrics or one of those type of places and get uh, glitter. And you can actually get glitter anywhere. You can get it at Fred Meyer's or Target or you know wherever. Anything that has a, a craft section. But what I like um, about the Michael's and the, and the Joanne's Fabrics and stuff like that is they seem to have a big selection of them. They have glitter glue. They have everything you can think of. So, you know, maybe even grab it out of your daughter's bedroom if they like glitter as well. Um, you know, it just only takes a little bit. You'll see on my baits here, this is a Power Dough um, pellet. And now we've got, this is a, a power bait, kind of the brown bait that you use. Um, it's supposed to simulate what they get fed at the, at the hatcheries. And now this is just a dough ball that I made. And you'll notice the sparkle on them. You'll notice that you can see. So imagine that in the water, and that's going to show as fish scales. And that's the whole idea of the reason for having glittery, shiny things in the water. Um, sorry about the shoddy camera work, but I'm trying to show. Now you see all the, all the glitter there. So the idea is... This is just floating in the water, and as it's bobbing along the water, you'll see all the sparkly, glittery things that hopefully Mr. Fish will come by and say, hmm, take a bite of that, and boom, you got him. Pull him in, everything's good. Now, with uh, with lures, it's a little bit more tricky. The way that I do it and have some good success with is um, most lures come with a, a bright, shiny color, and they've got a flasher that's bright and shiny, but after a while, they start to kind of wear down and get chipped, and maybe they're not as flashy for the fish. So what I'll do is I'll dip it. Um, hook, hook wise, I'll dip it in some um, trout attractant or anise or whatever attractant that you're using depending on the kind of fish you're going for and then I'll sprinkle a little glitter on top of that so it's kind of a temporary thing but um, it does throw the scent into the water and that way if you cast in the same area in the same section hopefully that scent will attract them and then they'll be sitting there kind of figure out what's going on and your lure keeps hitting it and it's it's shaking and rattling and rolling and it's starting to get annoying and um, you know, as everybody knows, fish are very territorial, they're carnivorous, so they're hopefully going to just say, you know, who is this guy? This this fish is pissing me off, let me just get him out of here, he's going to jump on it, grab it, pull him, and you got him in. So, just a real quick uh, little tip that I have some pretty good luck with, very inexpensive, you can use your own stuff, just get a little, you know, 99 cent bottle of glitter. I don't really think the color matters, but they have every color in the rainbow, literally. So, you know, try it out, and see what happens, uh, see what works for you, and um, let me know. So, thanks a lot, have a great day, YouTube, talk to you later. Good luck fishing out there. Be safe.